Hello everyone, Siege Link here, back with a new game, first time I'm playing this on my channel. It is called Among Us. It's been recently a pretty popular game, mostly on Twitch. And um, it's kind of a bit of a mix of a lot of different things. The bit easiest thing to compare it to would be Trouble in Terrorist Town, which is a game that sadly has not actually been turned into a full flesh game, but it is very, very popular on both Minecraft, but mostly Gmod. Specifically, the Oaks cast do it quite a lot, and it's very popular. And... Um, it also kind of reminds me of Survivor a lot because there's these things that kind of resemble Tribal Council and you have to vote out who you think is like the most likely, who's hurting the group the most basically. And now that I think about it, it also has kind of a bit of an, uh, a whodunit vibe. Uh, whodunit was actually um, an old show. I remember watching a few episodes of it and then I looked it up later on YouTube because I remembered it and I kind of liked it. It was kind of, it was like someone was murdered and then you have to do your own detective work to figure out how the murder how the murderer killed them it was kind of like a tv version of clue so this game is kind of like a mix of all three of those it's kind of like survivor in that you have sort of it's a free-for-all you have these sort of secret people that are trying to work against you and you have to figure out who they are and either vote them out but there's also sort of like a weird timer in the game where all the people who are not um bad people have these tasks and if everyone completes their tasks, then they win the game. There is one thing I wish they did add, which was um, a timer. I wish they added like a timer to the tasks. However, for like, uh, to the point where like, the imposters, what they're called, if if it was like thirty or forty minutes long, then the imposters would just win by default if the tasks weren't done. And I want I like that for two reasons. Uh, first of all, some people take absolutely ages to do tasks. I've finished like eight nine tasks by the time i've seen some people do one in this game which is absurd and then second of all there's sort of a cheap strategy in this game that um the innocent players can basically do that guarantees them ba basically 100 percent guarantees a win which is that if they all just group up and just do tasks one by one um you can never kill in front of them because one person kills the other reports and they always have someone to sort of back them up so personally the, the tasks sort of ask as a ask it or act as a timer so that if the imposters take too long then they lose which is a good thing but at the same time i feel like there should also be sort of a separate timer and it would also kind of make sense to me a lot of other people wouldn't find it necessary because i do think it would have to be very long um i think it would have to be very long to make it fair because if it was like 20 minutes like i think a lot of people would not do their tasks in that amount of time and that's fine even though I think a lot of people would also, but like if they made it, but even if they made it like let's say let's say they make it made it an hour long, right? Everyone would be like, why even add that? Because no games are going to go an hour long. Well, first of all, some games, that's kind of a thing. If you if it goes an hour long, if there's no point to implement it, then you should implement it because if it's in the right direction, you you might as well implement it. But if you have a group of people who are just doing one task at a time and they're doing like one task for every ten minutes, a game could last an hour. And they could win with a cheap strategy so it's always in my mind it's always better to have a super long timer than to have no timer at all because in games like this there's no like judge there's no admin that's going to step in and say okay this game's over you know that's not going to happen in this game for the most part at least i'm going to play just on this map this is i, I believe the first map that was that was uh, made and um it's the only it's the one i played the most of and the reason for that is because the default setting is one imposter and this map only so and i did i knew how to change the imposters but i didn't know how to change maps you just click here so i played like 200 games here before i played any of these games so i'm gonna look for either one or two imposters i wish i could highlight two of them yeah, yeah. one or two imposters and about 10 people I'm also going to be looking at certain rule sets, specifically kill cooldown. Kill distance short, kill cooldown. Imposter vision, crewmate vision. That's not good. Crewmate vision and imposter vision, like, way different. And kill cooldown is only 20 seconds. Okay. Let's do this. And that's just way too fast. Some people have crazy settings, and that's kind of fine for a game like this. Oh, didn't realize that was three people. That's fine. So 
it takes a bit of time, I don't really care too much. Way too short to kill cooldown. Basically anything like 20 seconds or less is too at least too little in my opinion. But 10 seconds, that's just that's just just now. <laughs> just now. Alright, this looks good. Kill cooldown 30 seconds. Imposters two. And then speed a little above average. Or I would say about average. Possibly a little bit higher than crewmate. So player speed 1.5. I'd say like 1.2, like 1.2.25 is probably the the average. I would say that or this. 1. 1. 1.0 is pretty pretty slow. One, the one thing that, there's, there's a few things that bug me about the new place I'm living at. It, it is still, I think, probably a better, an overall improved place from the last place I was. In terms of overall, like, my living style and how I'm living. But, for whatever reason, the water from the sink here, whether it's the bathroom sink or the kitchen sink, it tastes so weird. Like, tap water here just tastes weird. Like, the thing about, the thing about water is that it's supposed to have, like pretty much no taste but this water has taste and it has like a grimy taste to it it's like imagine taking like a full like glass of water that's like two or three cups worth of water and then like dropping a single drop of mud in it and then spinning it around and like mixing it up that's kind of like what it tastes like it's like a tiny tiny bit of like milk in it but this doesn't really taste good I think I might just start buying bottles of water. Not only that, but it, I also taste the same thing um, in the ice. And another thing that's kind of weird about the ice is that it doesn't actually, like, freeze properly. Instead of turning into, like, proper ice, it turns into, like, ice that's, like, closer to, like, jello almost. Like, when the ice, like, melts, it doesn't, like, turn to water or it turns to, like, like slime almost. It's, it's kind of weird. So, I don't know, it's just really annoying. Took long enough to get into a game, but, uh, finally here. I haven't been imposter almost at all, and I think so far, every single time except maybe one, when I've been an imposter, I've been red. <laughs> so, it just se seems like kind of a meme in this game, but for me, it's not a meme, it's actually a thing. <laughs> like, I was imposter, like, I think, like, five out of the... Uh, I think I've had been, been imposter like seven times, and I think five out of the seven times, and all the recent times, today, um, I was red. <laughs> in fact, when I switched to red to see if I was going to get imposter just for being red, I got imposter twice in a row. <laughs> the one thing I will say about this game that I'm probably the worst at is remembering the colors. <laughs> Especially on faster speed. Blue's here. Black's here, purple's here. Yeah, purple did that. Pink's in security. The upper engine. Task kind of everywhere, so. And here we go, lower engine storage. Okay, I haven't seen orange any time recently.
leave the rom the the Rome. Every single person. This looks like it's gonna be a quick game. I didn't even click U there. My my cursor just kind of went out, went around it. One thing I really dislike about this game is that the arrow that shows you like your next task only like half works. Like it's 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 pointing to lower engine, where I have another one in storage which was closer to me, and it's not pointing to wherever that is, and it's still not. Which doesn't really make any sense to me. And some also light up more than others. Like this one here doesn't light up almost at all. And then security. I've not seen like anyone. I say we just skip. I'll keep my eye out for cyan. For cyan. I could kick someone if I wanted to. <laughs> so it's likely cyan. one left. Got it, boys. It's kind of late at night, and I kind of want to just play by myself, so I think I might just have this be the only one in the video. Especially because it took long enough to actually get it. <laughs> it's possible that people might just leave after this. It's a very common thing that happens. So, I'm going to end it off here. Hope you guys enjoyed this, my first episode of Among Us. Plan to do some in the, more in the future, and possibly maybe even with, even with some streamers. So, see you guys in the next video.